What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I make my extremely moisturizing hair butter which you see me use in a lot of my videos to keep mine and my children's hair moisturized. But before we get into today's video, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification button so that you will never miss an upload every Sunday at 5 p.m. And also, if you would like to support my channel, then please feel free to join the ad gang by participating in watching the ads which are displayed on my channel as this really helps me out. Okay, so let's get into it. So recently I had someone ask me how to make this hair butter and here is that video for anyone else who is interested in making this for themselves. So the first thing you will need before getting all your ingredients together is a suitable glass jar or container to store your hair butter in. Now you don't have to go out and purchase a new fancy jar for this. You can always recycle or reuse any old glass jars or containers from other products that you've already used up. For example, I'm reusing this coconut oil glass jar that I purchased a little while ago. Once you've got your desired storage container, it's time to start preparing the ingredients. So the ingredients I combined together to create my moisturizing hair butter includes cocoa butter, shea butter, olive oil, and coconut oil. So to my jar, I first added a few pieces of cocoa butter. Now I didn't add a lot of cocoa butter to my mix because I find that the cocoa butter is much more dense in comparison to the shea butter and when it actually cools back to its solid form, it's very firm and can be quite hard to scoop out. But I like to add this to my mixture because of its healing and softening properties which not only hydrates and moisturizes the hair and skin but also because it further nourishes the hair and skin and improves elasticity. Next, I add a nice amount of shea butter to the jar which is much softer than cocoa butter and it provides a smooth creamy texture to the mix. And just touching this block of shea butter left my hands so creamy and moisturized and I'm pretty sure that's because of its rich vitamin E content which is known to be an emollient that's very effective in sealing in moisture. Once I was happy with the amount of butters in my jar, I ran some hot water in the kitchen sink and placed my jars in there so that the butter could melt. Now I only put my jars in the sink because I was making multiple hair butters, but you can speed up the melting process by putting your jar in a bowl of hot water like you will see me do later in the video. Following this, I went ahead and added a quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of coconut oil. And because my coconut oil was solid, I melted this further. You can customize your hair butter by adding whichever carrier oils and essential oils to your mix to suit your hair's requirements. After everything was melted down, I sat my mix on my windowsill to set. You can also place it in the refrigerator to set after it's cooled down. Once your butter has set, it should be creamy and soft and buttery. However, if it feels really hard, what you can do is just melt it down again and add more oils to it or even shea butter and set it again and try it out. You can keep doing this until it's at your desired consistency. And because of all the nourishing factors of all the ingredients in this hair butter, it can also be used as a body butter. And being pregnant, I certainly use this on my growing baby bum to minimize the development of any further stretch marks. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.